We are going to give this website, cacmarlowfloorsanding.com, a little bit of a facelift. Specifically, this is the front page we are on right now, and there is a sub page for recent projects, which, <clears throat> which could do with a little bit of a design overhaul. All right, I have a clone of this website with permission. So I'm going to this recent projects page and I'm going to work on that. All right, so one thing I notice um, at first is that, is that on the landing page, this nice background really gives you an idea of what this is about. This is about floors, which is great. When I go to the sub page, I would really love to have the same feeling on this website. Now, we can't. So, OK, I'm going to. So I'm going to use this idea of on, on that page. Uh, this image is set on the hero uh, layout. So I'm going to copy this entire hero layout to this recent projects page. And I'm going to paste it here, which I can't do because this entire page layout is a component. So we are going to detach it first. That way, this menu element will be available. It's a component it's, uh, itself. So uh, we could take this apart, but we are going to remove this instead. So uh, let's first paste our hero element before that. So our other menu is still here. Now we can remove that leads and because we have taken our component apart now it's called page two so let's rename it back to recent projects uh, well we can save it when when i pasted the styles went with it but after the reload it will be lost all right and we want to give this page a little title here so I'm just going to add recent projects. It's the primary title of the page should be centered. So it's okay like that. And there's too much spacing around it. So if we click around in the structure, we can see that the grid takes so much space. And then there's the, <clears throat> the menu above it. So uh, the space is actually defined to be at least this high by the hero layout. So I'm going to go in settings. I actually don't want to give it any minimum height. If we remove the default, like the default option is uh, 100 viewport height. So it's like 100% of the screen or the viewport. So I'm going to override it and just use zero pixel or zero anything basically. Okay, so at this point, the space is defined by the contents. So this grid may be a little bit still too high. So I'm going to go in settings and reduce it both on mobile and des on desktop to some smaller value. Okay, so that starts to look nice. Um, another thing, if we go to the front page here as well, this little uh, row, <coughs> with the phone number, uh, could use a little bit of a darker background to make it uh, stand out that it's a different, uh, uh, like a strip above the menu. So I'm going to come here and give it a little uh, bit of a darker background. Not too much, just a little bit. It's already dark, so that could be enough or maybe one extra shade darker. There you go. It just stands out a little bit, gives a nice touch. Now, if we go between the front page and the sub page, we have only changed it on the front page because, uh, well, these are two separate elements. So it would be nice in case we want to reuse it in the future if it would be the same element. So I'm going to come here oops, and say create component. That will <clears throat> place our component here. Uh, it's a bit hard to see. You can make it bigger to make it more recognizable. And then come to the recent projects page. 
remove this and add our components instead. <clears throat> so that way, if you edit any of those, uh, you will see the results on every page. And by the way, if you want to edit it, uh, like for example, a text, now we can't edit it because it's a component. So we had to come here, right click, go edit component, and then you could edit the text here if you wanted to. And at the end, you hit apply and return. All right. So now when I switch pages between the front page and this sub page, it starts to feel like we are on the same page. So that's great. Now, as for the contents of this page, now we can actually remove this. Yep, remove that one. Okay. What we see that these are actually projects. So there's this backing project, new engineer oak, oak restored, sending. So these are projects. So I would prefer to display them on a light background. Um, in full width blocks so that they look like separate sections. So let's go to new. I have a bad internet connection, so for that. Um, go with full with blocks, main features, and actually, so we want to display some images, so maybe, maybe let's go with this. A title and some images below it. And let's copy this text. Paste it here. And this shouldn't be heading one because the primary heading of the page is a recent project. So this should be heading two. And the text is a little bit too wide that way. So what we are going to do is go into text settings and limit it to something narrower and maybe center it as well so that starts to look nicer and let's move these images as well we can just select both and cut and say place before and remove the others now we only plan to have two images so let's change this to two columns or images in a row okay that looks nice and let's see the image proportions seems to be quite okay all right and so i i believe the idea here is that this is the before image and this is the after image so maybe we could add before and after it's so a little text overlay there okay and I noticed that, that the logo of this page has this orange uh, color. So maybe we could add some little more touch by going into inner blocks, <clears throat> layout, separator, and add a color line here between the title and the text. So let's duplicate this and keep the title and the text separated. There you go. Now we can move it between the two and give it some orange color. So colors go to rainbow that you can see by, uh, well, hues. And use some, some orange color something that looks similar. It seems like it's too vibrant. So we can, um, you can't give an exact color right here. Uh, so I'm going to cheat and add some opacity to reduce the brightness of, of the color. That way it will start to look similar. Let's say I'm 
I was happier with the one before. Okay, let's say that they're looking close enough. Um, yeah, so this could be one section. And I'm going to remove this block here so that we are done with it. <clears throat> and so the, the idea is that having a title and the images below it is a much better layout than having way too many images on top of each other and the text on the side. So let's duplicate this for the next section and to make them look a little bit apart, I'm going to add some subtle background gray to this one. There you go. Let's copy the text over. Okay, so this is heading to centered. And this should be just clean text centered as well. Oops, add another line break. And let's move the two images. Cut. Paste before. There you go. We are removing these. And let's see the aspect ratio of the images. Perfect. Good. I'm not sure if, if, if this is a before and an after image. Uh, probably yes. This seems to be more glossy, but uh, maybe it's just my eyes. So I leave it like that. And again, we can remove this section. Great. Now for the next one, we only have one image. So we could do the same to like use this layout and keep just one image in the middle. Or we could use uh, the same layout to have the image on the left and the text on the right. Um, so I'm going to do that. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to click the grid column and then the grid above it and say add column. All right, we are going to use the right column for the text and the gallery on the left for the image. Settings, we're just going to have one image, no text this time. Okay, and we're going to cut the image here and paste before that image. Okay, we can remove the original. There you go, the text is going to be oh, restored. Let's clean it, heading to centered. And the text is going to be this. You don't need the spacing under it this time. And it would be nice if that would be centered. So let's go in the column settings and say it should be centered. Okay. Image proportions. Well, this is a tall image. So let's change that gallery settings, image proportions. That should be good enough. Okay, keep going. Here we'll do the same trick, have the image on the right, text on the left. So let's duplicate this. Give this some background. The same gray, gray 50. You can say, you can hover the mouse to see the names. Okay, now we want to flip the two and move this image, remove 
read that one. Let's see the image proportions. Perfect. Text is sending. Style is right. Okay. We are making progress. Remove this block. Great. This two has one image, so we just reuse the section above. Adding to centered. I'm going to leave it like that. We could reduce the size, but I'm going to leave it like this. No text this time. It looks a little bit odd. It would be nice to add some text below it. Yeah, I'm wondering which is better. Maybe keep it on one line. All right. Two images again. So I'm going to use one from the top. We need a gray. So let's use this one. Copy, paste after. There you go. Text. Heading to center. It's going to be in two lines anyway. Where was it? All right. Cut base before. Delete. See image proportions tall again. Both great. Yeah, good enough. And then we have this one with loads of images. So the next one is a white section. Copy, paste after. You can hit Ctrl A on your keyboard to select all the images within the same part and then just say cut and then paste before. Okay. Center H2. These are standing images as well. And maybe reduce or actually increase the number of images in a row to three. So it better fits in the screen. Okay. We can now remove this entire section. 
There you go. Now, I'm going to open developer tools um, and look at the site on various screen sizes. So let's look at mobile. That's nice so far. Okay, now the text is below the image. We want to flip that. So it was this oak restored section. We're going to right click the second column and say it has to be the first, oops, the first on mobile. And here we are going to say this has to be the second. And if there is another one, we are going to do the same here. This shall be the first. And this shall be the second. No more. Okay. Back to mobile view. Indeed, the text is on top. No, actually, it was sending, was it? I don't know. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. All right, so let's compare where we started. to what we ended up having. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something. Cheers.